Howdy Space Goats here. Hope everyone's having a good day and good weekend. Uh, haven't made a video in probably you know, a couple weeks now. You know, life, the farm, work, job, being lazy. It's winter time. But anyways, hey, I got uh, I did a video here oh, a few weeks ago about this uh, M.2 SSD to PCIe card uh, adapter and I bought two of them actually and this is my second one so I, I do have two of them and part of my Black Friday adventures I didn't really buy hardly anything Black Friday I bought uh, I bought three 32 inch monitors gonna replace my 224s and my 27 and that's about it other than I bought a couple of crucial 2 gig M.2 drives now these are not <clears throat> excuse me the um, the real fast ones or anything like that but they are two terabytes and with the Black Friday sale, I was able to pick them up for $179 each. So they're not going to be the fastest thing on the block. Let's get one out of the package here. Actually, just get them both out of the package because I want to install both of them today in my in my new build when I'm still waiting for parts. All right, here's the crucial drive. Hopefully, you guys can can see that. Let me raise the camera up a little bit. Get a little more better view. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. Now you can see what it is. So that's the crucial drive. I've used quite a few of these drives in the past. Um, they're made by Micron, or the chips, anyways, are made by Micron. I don't know what the whole thing is. They are not the fastest thing on the market or whatnot, but I've had really, really good luck with these things. Really reliable. Uh, I think they're supposed to read like 2,000 megabits a second. Of course, I can't see anywhere on the packaging. It's been a while. I guess I should do some research and actually look at the specs before I start a video, but I didn't do it. So, and let's see. Does it say on the box? Man, I'm not seeing it on the box. Well, that's kind of retarded. You're going to advertise something, but you don't put the specs on the box other than it's one one gigabyte blah 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 a bunch of languages i don't know five-year warranty okay well anyways i do believe they were like 2000 uh read and i think 1800 write or something like that so they're not the fastest nvme drive out there but they do work and they do run that's all i care about so i'm trying to make this video short as possible I don't really want to have any interruptions in in the cut so I'm gonna try to do this all at once see how fast I can do this if I can drop these things on the floor be like oh uh, Linus tech tips and drop these parts on the floor and break crap so try not to anyways anyways here's our little adapter I have shown in the review of these or the initial uh, unboxing what they look like and they're pretty simple but what i'm curious about is going to be the speeds of them i don't i know i've seen some reviews online and they say they run nice and fast so and there we have our thermal pads we got a thick one and we got two thin ones yeah okay they're they're both the same thickness so we'll have to put those on here in a minute and that's what it looks like inside so let's come over here did i miss something in the box i'm missing a screw no i'm not missing a screw i forgot about it I forgot this is a little bit different install than a regular M.2. This one has this brass ring right here that you 
take off from the back side like so. Hopefully you guys can see this. And we install this in here. Oops, let me almost forgot. One of these thin thermal pads is supposed to go down here like this. And I need to look at it anyways. Let me see how thick that thermal pad is. Uh, that's a thermal pad ain't gonna do squat. I'm assuming we're just gonna use the one on top. So let me let me install this. Get our screw back through the hole. All right. The drive has been installed. Now the question is going to be, how much thermal pad do I, am I going to need? Now you can't really see when this thing is in the in the deal here how much pad you're going to need before it contacts the heat sink so i'm going to stick this in here lay it in here to see where we're at This particular, and, and I'm assuming that some of these uh, things made for some of these M.2s probably have, may have chips on the back side, so that's when having a, a thicker pad would be beneficial. I think that pad's too thick. That one's too thin. The problem is if I had two of these, that's the same thickness as one of these. Pretty close. We may have to just try this one. It, it, it'll squish in there. So, I mean, it's not horrible. But we should be all right, though. I guess we'll just try it. We'll see what happens. So, and then on the back side of this, there is these little holes right here that correspond with whatever location you're your uh, screw is to install it so you gotta make sure this is going the, going the right direction such and like so yeah it's gonna go squish quite a bit but it's okay I don't mind the squish all right let's uh, peel off the plastic barrier uh, I want to go ahead and lay this on top so we get it in the right location something like that peel off the top and some sticky pad I don't know what the manufacturer the brand of the pad is so hopefully it's uh, adequate I think we'll be all right though these drives probably don't they're not the real high performance drive so more likely they won't run as hot as some of the other ones just like so our plate goes on like this a couple couple micro screws is raising up on us a little bit but ain't nothing a little screw won't fix I almost need a pad that's kind of in between sizes as it heats up and stuff and moves around the pads will squish so, alrighty, 
and that is a M.2 drive installed. So let's go ahead and install the second one real quick. I'm at 10 minutes, so it shouldn't take me just a couple minutes since I got the first one figured out how I want to do it anyways. I won't be playing around with it. And then I will install both of these in my system. You guys seen this system before in one of my other videos. I'm waiting on the new graphics card uh, water block to show up. And I'm also waiting on the processor to show up. Um, I did pre-order probably got screwed on the on the whole pre-order thing but I did pre-order a 3950x from B&H photo there are the one of the few places that was actually offering a, uh, a pre-order but I got an email from them and they were saying possibly by December 21st I should have my 5950x I'm going to be making a run to Micro Center tomorrow. Hopefully, the 5800 that they have sitting on the shelf is still available. And their inventory system is not lying when I look at it online. But we'll find out. All right. Come on, dang you. Get out there. Thick pad. I hate these pads sometimes. Especially when you're trying to put a water block on. On a graphics card. Alright. Pad. Come on. There we go. And I also have, for my new system, I have a... RTX card. I have a new one to install. I'll show it to you guys here in just a second. But EK finally released a water block for that card. So I'll be, uh, I think they said December 15th for the new water block. So I will have to pull my RTX 2080 Super. I got an EVGA, uh, what was that called? It's Hydro Copper, I think, card is what that's called. <clears throat> and nice card, but not what, not really what I wanted. Got a good deal on it, so I'll use it in another build later on down the road. All right. Look at that. Three minutes to install this one just like so now there's there's those and the graphics card I was talking about that I that I have and I'm going to install is my RTX 2080 tough Asus the card is uh, like I said EK has a water block for it finally it's actually technically I guess it's supposed to be released on what day was it the 6th so it will uh, ship out from the UK here pretty soon and they're saying the 15th so I can't wait for it and this is the system that we're gonna be installing these M.2 drives into I currently have two one terabyte gen 4 uh, M.2 SSDs in it. One is the new Samsung 980 Pro. The other one is my Corsair MP600. So let's uh, shut the system down. Like so. There's our slots. Now these these adapters are supposed to be able to slot into not just a 16x slot. They're supposed to slot into a 4x 
an 8x you know because of with all the different cutouts so they're supposed to slide into multiple different slots but that's how we're not going to use these ones now can i see this upper one here let me kill that power supply my lights are still flashing all right one now this is a good idea for people that have an older system uh older computer so if you have a a board that does not have an m.2 and you want m.2 they're pretty simple they don't look bad they don't take a lot of room they got little heat sinks on them so they kind of droop a little bit but there's no weight on them so it's just kind of a little droop in the socket so we'll turn our uh, power supply back on here with the power button and let's see uh, let's see this thing run here booting back up I don't know how can I show you guys my monitor here I see I got my desk here this is this is it. ooh making a bunch of noise this is my my workspace right here this is where all the computer buildings done so there's the monitor okay C and D shows up so let's come down here to I need to set this camera down. You guys even see that? Of course not. Burr. Tell you what, I need to get me a better proper setup because this this whole YouTuber thing get a little frustrating. So See if these hard drives show up. Hey, look at this two, disc three. Okay. There we go. They both show up. Let's just do a simple new volume. Next, call it E. Call it default. Finish formatting. Simple new volume. We'll just do the same thing. Call that one F. Finish. Done. And they're both formatting right now. Where are we at for time here? 18 minutes. Alright, I got two minutes. Look at there. New drive done. Come on, baby. Let's get to this other one done. It's working on it. Bam. Look at there. And now, come back here. I'll, I'll rename these things to something else later on down the road. Like I said, this will be used for mass storage of YouTube videos and stuff like that. So, But what I'm kind of curious in, I have Crystal Disk Mark up here. So we're going to install this. Let's launch it. Let's do a speed check. I want to do this what, uh, what one of these drives does. And let's just do all. This will take about a minute or so, I think. Let's get this all done. Let me turn that light off. I'm curious to see how fast these things run in one of those drives. Or in one of those adapters. Like I said, this is live, and I'm not pre-recording nothing. I have it, this first time I've tested it, first time I've installed one. I have no idea what these things are going to run. It looks like a read speed is 2245. Takes a little bit of time to do this stuff. And while we're sitting here waiting, guys... Um, 
like I've said in one of my other videos, I'm, I have an ITX computer system that I'm going to uh, give away once we get to a thousand subscribers. I'll be giving away this ITX computer that's in a, uh, a Chopin case. It's a Core i5 9600K. It has a 500 gig M.2 drive in it. Great little system for, you know, say if you're a college student and you just need to do something to do your homework on. If you're traveling, you know, you need something that's small, compact. They're great, great little systems. Um, like I said, that at a thousand subscribers, I know I'm. Uh, I got 370 right now, so we're almost halfway there. This drive is doing pretty good in these uh, adapters. And also, while we're waiting, like and subscribe, tell your friends. Like I said, I do this just for fun. I build computers for fun. I don't get paid anytime I build a computer for anybody. I don't ever get paid for it. I do it. My time is my time, you know, whatever. I don't uh, charge for anything like that. I don't up mark, uh, up charge on parts that I buy, even though I get a good deal on them. Like these graphics cards here, and the one sitting over here, which is the RTX 3070. If I use these cards in a in a in a computer, and I get a really good price on one, or a deal from a friend or a buddy, or like my 2080 Super, you know, that was an open box item product from Micro Center. So I don't I don't charge any more than what I pay for it. So. <clears throat> I don't make any money on any computer I sell. As a matter of fact, most most computers I sell, I probably lose money on because I put RGB lighting in it, and then people don't ask for it. So I have some extra fans, or I'll have some extra parts, and I'll throw some extra stuff in it and not tell them about it. And so I'm out of pocket on some of the stuff. I just enjoy building computers and enjoy uh, making people happy with a, a nice custom-built computer. Anyways, but our write speeds are almost 2,000, so 1981, 2245, oh yeah, just get a little drive. Alright guys, well, there's the numbers, they're mostly done. So like I said, like and subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one.